Okay, Halloween is over and the pumpkins are at giveaway prices. So let's see what we can do with a carving pumpkin. They are edible, so let's get a nice big sound one and see what we can make out of it. <coughs> so, so we have this massive carving pumpkin. Now, carving pumpkin is just a pumpkin. It may not be the sweetest or most delicate pumpkin that ever existed, but it's just a pumpkin. So we're gonna hack this to pieces. We're gonna put some pieces in a roasting pan. We're gonna slow roast them to reduce them down, caramelize them, intensify the flavor, and drive off some of that watery mushiness. And then we're gonna try making things with that pumpkin pulp. So let's get stuck in. So I guess it's just a case of cutting maybe a quarter out I think we'll go for. Seems to cut okay. There we go. So, nice thick flesh there, which is going to give us some nice pumpkin pulp or pumpkin flesh for our recipe. So we'll scrape all those seeds out, we'll cut that into chunks, we'll get it in a massive roasting tray and get it in the oven on low for four hours or so. Okay, that's three quarters of the pumpkin. I think that's probably as much as I'm gonna be able to fit in this tray. So let's get that in the oven, and then we'll just bake it for four hours until it's all cooked down. Okay, so all of this cooked pumpkin has cooled down now, and we're just gonna separate that off. It's still actually quite juicy, so we may squeeze some of the juice out even when we separate it from the skins. So I think we're just going to scrape all of that off the skins now, put it in a bowl, squeeze some more of the juice out of it, and then tomorrow we're going to use some of this to make a pumpkin pie. Okay, so this is interesting. So that's our pumpkin flesh. That's pumpkin puree. It will be when I've blended it a bit. That's the solids we've got from that huge pumpkin. Well, three quarters of it. We've also got this big bowl of juice, which I've strained off in order to get a more dense pumpkin flesh. And I'm just thinking we probably shouldn't waste this. I'm gonna boil this down and see if we can make pumpkin syrup. Right, so that is the result of our cooking and squeezing out of the liquid of that very large pumpkin. That's about three quarters of the pumpkin in there. So today we're going to make pumpkin pie. I've already prepared this pastry case and this has been blown baked for 20 minutes. And I've measured this dish and it takes about one liter of liquid in the dish when it's empty. Obviously the pastry case occupies a little bit of that space but it also raises the rim a tiny bit so I think we're going to go for probably 800 mil of filling so it's about a pint and a half of filling. So let's make that up now. So we are pretty much going to make this up as we go along but my gut feeling is we're going to need four eggs. And I want it to taste nicely a pumpkin, so I'm going to use about half of this pumpkin. 
in here. So let's get that in there as well. In fact, I think we might use a bit more than that. Now, it's a bit stringy and fibrous at the moment, but don't worry about that because we're going to blend that down. Now, some of my pumpkin pie recipes call for milk and then butter, but I've actually got cream here, 250 ml of cream. That's going to be good. Okay, so we're going to get that in a larger bowl so I can blend it together. So I've got about two teaspoons full of mixed spice left. I'm just going to put that in there. Mixed spice, that's nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, possibly allspice. And we're just going to blend that together. Okay, now that's really rather thick, a thick mixture, because I'm using probably a lot more sugar, uh, probably a lot more pumpkin than most pumpkin pie recipes typically call for. But now we're going to get about 200, we're going to get that 200 grams of caster sugar in there and blend that in as well. And then we're ready to put that in our pie case. So let's get the oven switched on. Now that's a pretty thick pumpkin pie mix recipe, but I like it to have lots of pumpkin in it. So it's quite gloopy because we've used maybe twice as much pumpkin in here as most recipes will typically call for. Okay, now before we do anything, I am just gonna taste a bit of this mixture. Yes, I'm tasting raw egg. Just tasting that for sweetness and spice. Yeah, that's really good. So we've got the pastry case there that's been blind baked for 20 minutes just to crisp it up so that the mixture here doesn't make the pastry soggy and then we're just going to go in with this filling and I think if I've judged this all correctly we've got just the right amount of filling for the pie could have gone for a bit more I reckon could have squeezed a bit more in there but never mind so we'll just give that a little smooth down now that's about right I think it will puff up a little bit as it bakes and then it will sink back down. That's going to go in there now for 45 minutes. Okay, so that's had about 50 minutes in the oven and it's just browned nicely on top and puffed up a little bit. That will sink back down as it cools, but that's just perfectly cooked right now. So we're going to let that cool at least to warm temperature and then maybe we'll try a slice. Okay, now I think we need to have a taste of this pumpkin pie. So it's still slightly warm. So it just needs a bit of cream, so don't hate me, I'm going to cheat and use squirty cream. Okay, let's have a little taste of this pie then. Mm. That's really, really, really good. And so that's my recipe for pumpkin pie. Now I like a bit more pumpkin in it than most recipes call for. Mm. Really, really tasty. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely autumn dish. So there we go, that's my pumpkin pie. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.